Hey, this is just a quick video on a fishing rod rack that I just made. I've seen a couple YouTube videos um, where guys use some different things, shower curtain rods and all that sort of thing. And there was a one gentleman that I saw that used twisted bungee cords like this. Um, and I thought it was the easiest idea ever. But then he went and used a shower curtain rod for the front of the rods up there. And I thought that was a little bit silly. I figured I could use a uh, bungee cord for there as well. Save some money and make it so I could take it down easily. Uh, so I did. So I've got a forerunner. And up here, you can see what it was before is this little garment hook. I couldn't attach the bungees to it. So I unscrewed it. And I got these guys at Lowe's. They're picture hangers. And they look like this. I only used two of them. Four of them came in the pack with all that hardware. So I only need two of them. Uh, I had to bore out the hole a little bit to make it fit. But it went in like a charm. One on that side. One on that side. Two bungee cords. Wrapped together. Put your rod in the front. Stick it in the back. And uh, the only other thing I thought was this bungee cord here, the head had to be a little smaller because of the D-ring. And that one there had to be a little bit bigger because I wanted to get to go right over the hand, the, the handle there. But that was it. It was about a five minute install and this was $10, including tax. It was $4 for these guys. It was... $3.98 for a two pack of these and $2.98 for the other one. So all in all, ten bucks. Easy peasy. These it stops these from uh, moving around with the twist in, and uh, there's plenty of headroom in the front. I'll show you what it looks like in the front. Just like that. I think it's awesome.